got to move on. Let, let's talk about budget. You know, clock's still ticking. Looks like the Senate, bipartisan, mm -hmm. they have a bill, but you got problems in the House. What's going to happen? Yeah, so I, I spoke to a co former colleague of mine, and it's interesting. I'm, I'm reliving the time when, when Senator Murray, who I worked for, uh, helped pass the Bipartisan Budget Act in 2013 with Paul Ryan, where we cut this deal. So I was asking my former colleague, what's the whip count look like? He thinks it's going to shape up in the Senate to be very similar to the votes in terms of when we reopen the government, so around 80-20. In the House, it's a very different conversation. Nancy Pelosi just ended, I think, an eight-hour uh, filibuster. Eight and a half hour. In yeah. a half hour. Kudos their version of a, of a filibuster yeah. on the floor. The House Dems are not on board with this unless we have a solution to DACA. And they're frankly, and I'm not going to defend my party on this because we've, we've made a mess, I think, of the communications and the strategy here. Schumer there's shut down, a, you mean? There's a mm -hmm. mismatch between what Senate Dems are agreeing to and what House Democrats think they need to do in order to satisfy uh, DACA. So I left a meeting earlier today as well talking about it. I have a different take on it. I think the Senate will pass it pretty easily. The you're correct, will be in the House. You have members of the Freedom Caucus, and I'm a fiscal conservative. This bill, I believe in the last decade, is only second to Obama's stimulus package as far as increase in spending. So a lot of Republicans are going to vote against it, and a lot of Democrats are going to have to vote for it in order to pass. And you're talking about opioid crisis earlier. A lot of things in this bill yep, are positive true. Democrats. There's over $6 billion, okay, $6 billion yep. for opioid crisis, yeah. transportation. The uh, children's health care bill is expanded for 10 years. Yeah. So there's a lot of good no, in this at, bill. Look, far and away. Far look far at the away. House. Are we going to have a deal? Or yeah. are we going to yeah. have a yeah. shutdown? We'll get to a deal. Not be another Schumer shutdown, there, I promise you. There, 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 okay. This has been an agreement with, with Senate leadership for the past few days. This right. is not new for them. We'll have, yeah. we'll have, I mean, the, the real question is whether Nancy Pelosi, watch whether or not she whips votes tomorrow. If she doesn't, then you know that they're actually not serious about, about a shutdown. But just one more thing. Okay. Okay. Next week will be the DACA issue. They're going to talk about that. As President Obama has, I mean, as well, President Trump has already, Paul, Paul Ryan, as President Trump already said, he wants to legalize 1.8 million let me ask you this recipients question. of DACA. Let me say this is why greater, won't Paul Ryan let me finish, this is greater than the DACA program under Obama. Why won't Paul Ryan so, commit to bringing the DREAM Act to the floor? We'll that's, argue that's DACA <laughs> next time because okay. it'll still be there. It'll still it's be coming next week. Okay, I want to flip.